Hello and welcome to lesson 10 of Krav Maga classes online. Uh, we're into double figures of lessons now, so, you know, fantastic work for getting this far. As usual, we started in about a minute, so get yourself nicely limbered up and get ready to start. Okay, right, so, feet together, hands by your sides, Bowie. Okay, jumping on the spot. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Hands and balls and backwards. Arms nice and loose, that shoulders bounce. Side to side. And jogging. Arms out to the sides. Roll the wrists forwards. And backwards. And forwards with the arms, up at the back, breathing in, and the front, breathing out. Up at the front, breathing in, and at the back, breathing out. Okay, start to... Push your fingers in the direction that they're pointing. Stretch your shoulder sockets. Pushing down, forwards, up, and around. Okay, shake your arms out. Okay, twists. And jogging. Jumping jacks with me, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty. Okay, once they go, circle around to the left. Go. Change. 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 And jump. Okay. When I say down, drop it down. When I say up, jump it up. Down 
Okay, one step forward, one step back, palms up. Okay, four smack palms. Punches. Breathing going. Finger strikes. Any combination. And jumping. Twists. And jumping. Okay, stop there, shake your legs out. Little stretch on the calves. Okay, two to your chest, looking down. And down. And up. To the right. And the left. To the right. And the left. Up to the right. Then to the left. Up to the right, then to the left, up to the left, then to the right, up to the left, and then to the right, and to the hips, till the hips up the front, to the right, up the back, and the left, and keep going round. And it's all about the use of the core. Okay, try and keep the shoulders, the head exactly where it is. Just use the core to rotate the hips back the other way. Try and feel the stretch on the base of your spine at the back. Okay, feet together, but knees forward and backwards, head up, back straight. Okay, we're taking clockwise and anti clockwise. Balance on the left foot, right knee up parallel to the floor, rotating clockwise, anti clockwise. Looking to the right. Put your leg out and hold. Rotate the foot clockwise, anti clockwise. Foot back down, balance the right foot. Left leg up, rotate clockwise, anti clockwise. Look to the left, push your leg out slowly and balance. Rotate it clockwise and then anti clockwise. Foot back down again. Okay, hand jogging. Breathing again. Deep breaths in, really inflating the chest. Deep breaths out. Tensing the side muscles, getting all that dead air out. Okay, when I say go, right to the left leg, right up to the elbow, front hand to ten. And changing legs. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Three. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, same thing. Bouncing the left leg, kicking the leg out this time. Make sure you keep the toes pulled back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jogging. When I say down, bend your knees, pop your feet back. One press up, up, 
and well, try not to touch the ceiling. Be careful. Down. Down. Facing the front and guard. Down. 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 And jogging. Okay, second to the left, go. Change. 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 And stop there. Okay, push up position. Uh, back straight. So I'm going to do press ups as we come up and touch the opposite shoulder. If you're working with a partner, you can shake hands. If you're running around, you stand up and touch the opposite shoulder. Okay? For a count of ten, with me. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, I'm going to back. 20 wood chops. Hey! 
eight, nine, and ten. Good, okay. On your max. So we're gonna start off. Feet, six inches off the floor. Here, when I say one, you take your knees into your chest, feet as high as you can, slowly back down to six inches. Then I say two, knees in, push up, slowly down. So, feet stay at six inches. Every time I say a number, knees into the chest, pointing up, and slowly down to that same position, six inches off the floor, okay? So, get ready. With me, okay, six inches off the floor, and one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And relax. Okay. Onto your feet without using your hands. Think of it for a second. And it depends very much on uh, how comfortable you feel doing it. We're circling, circling, circling. Down, feet back, up, okay. I'm going that direction, so I'm going okay to kick here from my left. Jab, cross. Okay, so, as you're circling, think about the direction you're going in. So we're here going to our right. Okay, down here, feet back. I come up, so I'm kicking with my left here, jab, cross. All right, think about applying your body weight with each of the strikes that you do. Okay, get ready. Go up, circling to the left, which means you're going to be kicking with the right foot first, okay? So go. Down. Take direction. strike, right, simultaneous strike. Okay, one, two, three, four. Each time when I call the number, okay? There's gonna be one, two, three, and four. Make it good defenses, little finger pointing out, making sure you've got a good shield to the outside of your body, okay? So, get ready. One, two, 
three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay, a little bit faster now. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, fast you can. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and relax. Good. Take a breather. Grab a drink. Keep those in through your nose, out through your mouth. Use your breathing, deep breaths in, slow your heart rate down. Integration, revision. Defending against a uh, left uh, and right attack. So a jab, cross. Okay, so we have two defenses. First of all, the attack is somebody here who's, uh, you know, who's in guard or in some sort of a guard, just doing a jab and a cross. Jab is the first defense, and then you need to deal with the second. So if, in my, if I'm in my guard position, then I have two options here. The first one is to parry the initial attack, okay? Then immediately start to strike, okay? So it's a, a parry and a strike with the rear hand, but also simultaneously as, as I do the strike, I'm defending with my lead hand. So I'm here, one, two, all right? So from here, one, two. Now this goes back to exactly the same thing as uh, in, in the core skills, where we're doing the one-handed parry and attack. So we're here, parry and strike, parry and strike. If you remember when we were talking about that, we were making sure that the hand is moving forward at all times towards the opponent. So I'm here, I'm not parrying here, and then the hand coming back and then punching. I'm here, I'm parrying here, my hand starts to go forward, okay, so I meet the, the, uh, the, the punch further forwards, and then I'm moving and rotating to do the punch. So it's here, one, two. Second hand, here, one, as the hand starts to go forward, and then deflecting the second strike. All right, so I'm here in this position in my guard, one, two, one, Two, one, two. Okay. The second defense uh, is, is partly as a result of the rotation that you make when you're doing the, uh, the actual strike with the rear arm. If I don't do anything and I go parry, strike, you can see because of my rotation, if I keep my, my hand here in the same place, I'm almost bringing my head behind it anyway. If you think about where the, the strike is aiming, the strike is aiming from my face, left, right, bang, bang. So I deflect the first, 
I go to strike, I'm already starting to take my head off the line. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep that going just a little bit more and bring that rear hand through. So I'm going to go one, two, so there. So I'm bringing that head a little bit further, but making a point of bringing my rear hand across to make the defence. So we're here, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so practice that with me. Nice and easy, nice and slow. So we're in guard. Okay, when I say one, we're going to come here with the rear hand. Okay, deflect. When I say two, we're going to strike, um, defend with the lead hand, bring the head behind it. So one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Okay, so the second defense for this is perhaps if you haven't seen it, okay, uh, until the last moment. So you're here, you might even be in a half guard, you might be whatever, but you're in this position. The first thing that happens is a punch comes towards you and you bring your body out of the way, okay? Then what you're going to do, as that right hand comes in here, you bring your body over the top and down. And strike okay so you're here so I'm in my position here in my guard bring my body back here for number one two bring the hand down lead hand down strike over the top with the rear all right so in exactly the same way you're still striking uh, with, with the rear hand but you're going to defend the the, uh, the right hand punch the, the rear hand punch with your lead hand and punch over the top so they're doing they're doing jab cross, okay? So we're going to be here, jab, cross as they come through. So the first one, there, head back. Second one, there. Now, and like I said the first time that we practice this technique, the thing to think about is I'm not necessarily bringing my whole body and my arms and everything back. The target is my head, okay? So we're here, oh! Okay, and I kind of want to leave my hands a little bit in front of me as I do it, because that kind of helps to be able to, to spoil any further attack. So I'm going to be here, one, and then two, there, moving forwards. This hand uh, is coming down forwards, it's not a, a chop like this, I'm, uh, I'm not here, there, and then chop down and like that. I'm coming forwards. So, I'm here. And my lead hand is coming like this, almost like I want to um, uh, strike with my fingers uh, to, the, um, uh, to, to the left hand side of my opponent's body. So I'm here, one, two, there. It's a strong, uh, a strong defensive and downwards motion with my body. So I'm locking my elbow, driving downwards here, okay? So I'm here, one, two, there, all right? Now, I'm here, one, two, and this is my body works coming down here, and then piston punch over the top, okay? So, one, two, one, two, okay? And that sort of pendulum sort of effect of my body, I bring my shoulders back, but my hips kind of staying where they are, and I throw my shoulders forwards into the strike. One, and two, and again. One, two, and again. One, and two. All right, so what I want you to practice is three times for each one, okay? So you're gonna be here, you're gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, and you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. All right. So you're going to do that, uh, each one of them, three times. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed, focusing on the technique. Do it all again. All right. Off you go.
And stop there. Technique one, turning kicks from guard position. So, what we're doing here, three kicks, uppercut, back kick, side kick. Now these are not necessarily spinning kicks, they're, they're, they're turning kicks. If you would consider a spinning kick, is more of a hook where you bring yourself right around, you end up back in your guard position. Okay? If I did a, a, a spinning a crescent kick, I'm turning here, I do my crescent, and I'm back here in my guard position. With each one of these, so the, the, the uppercut for example, I'm turning, I make my uppercut, here I'm now in opposite guard. All right? For my back kick, I'm turning to my back kick, opposite guard position. Side kick, I'm turning, I make my side kick, back to guard position. Okay? Uh, sorry, opposite guard position. So, how do we do this? Always about footwork. If I turn like this, okay, there's no way for me to turn and kick with the rear leg without doing something with my footwork. Uh, so what I'm going to do, so I'm here, I'm going to go rear leg, rotate on the heel, okay? Uh, so rotate on the ball of the foot, move the heel, lead leg, same thing. Look, okay? Now I've got my, uh, my lead leg, with my toes are almost pointing backwards, okay? From this position here, I can look towards the target, start the kick, bang, and bring myself around. Okay, so it's here. Rotate the ball of the foot, bring the heel around, heel around, looking, target, back kick, guard position. Okay, all of these are back kicks. So if I was to be in a neutral position and do a back kick, I'd be here. Okay, my toes would be pointing in that direction here, and I do my back kick from here. Okay, there, back kick from there. So that's essentially where I need my feet to be. Okay, so and we achieve that by doing heel turning. Right, so we're around there in this position here. I can now look, bring my leg up. There's my side kick back to opposite guard position. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to practice the, the heel toe part of it. Okay, so we're going to be in guard position here. Okay, plant the heel, rotate and plant the heel. Okay, look over the shoulder, step through to opposite guard. Okay, so with me, so heel, heel, look, step through, opposite guard position. Heel, heel, look, step through, opposite guard position. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the uppercut. So do this with me. So we're going to go here, heel, heel. Now we're going to look. Okay? So I'm looking directly in the, dire in the direction that I want to strike. Uppercut kick, bang, turn, guard position. So with me again. I'm going to basically say heel, heel, look, kick. All right, so uppercut kick. So heel, heel, look, kick. Back to guard position. And again, heel, heel, look, kick. Opposite guard position. Okay, one more time. Heel, heel, look, uppercut kick. Opposite guard position. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing, back kick, all right? So, heel, heel, look, back kick, opposite guard. And again, heel, heel, look, back kick, opposite guard. One more time. Heel, heel, and look, back kick, opposite guard. Okay, last one, side kick, with me. Heel, heel, look, 
side kick. And again, heel, heel, look, side kick. Last time, heel, heel, look, side kick, into opposite guard. All right, so what I want you to do is to do exactly that. Okay, think about it heel, heel, look, kick, opposite guard. Heel, heel, look, kick, opposite guard. All right. What I want you to do is keep going doing that. So you're going to do uppercut, back kick, side kick, three of each. Okay, so that's nine in total. And then start again. Each time as you do it, trying to make it more fluid so that you end up certainly doing this bit heel, heel, look. Okay, it becomes one motion. Okay, heel, heel, look is one motion. Then you can start to go heel, heel, look, hold it, kick. Heel, heel, look, hold it, kick. Then you can move on to doing the whole thing in one in one go. So it's heel, heel, look, kick, opposite guard. All right, but take your time and start to get it fluid. All right, off you go. And stop there. Integration course, active content. Shadow boxing. Okay, if you've got a, if you've got a partner, you can do a bit of light sparring. Uh, but if you're on your own, then we do the shadow. The purpose of the shadow, 
as we know, is to prepare yourself uh, and practice your techniques. When we're doing this, what I'd like you to do is to think about combinations. Okay? So when we're working, we're just going to think about combinations. One, two, three. Okay? A minimum of three, a minimum of three strikes, maximum of five to any direction, and then you change direction. So in this situation here, one, two, three, four, bang, back into guard, and then I'm going to turn to a separate direction. Doesn't matter, I can, I can turn all the way around, I can turn halfway around, I don't have to, you know, I can turn a little bit, it doesn't matter. But I want you to change the direction of where you're looking. Okay? So here we go here, one, two, three, four, I'm going to turn this way, okay? One, two, three, four, turn the other way. One, two, three, four, turn back the other way. Okay? I'm just wanting to keep the being continuous, but you know, you know an awful lot of strikes. Okay, by the time you get to your integration, you get all your skipping kicks, you've got all of your pop kicks, you've got low punches, high punches, swinging, uh, swinging hooks, uh, inverted punches, you've got uh, knife edge strikes, forearm strikes, you've got all sorts of stuff. Okay, to so try and put it into practice in a, in a, uh, uh, in a fluid way so that you can practice your combinations and just play around with, what, with, the, with the things that you have and see what things fit together. All right. Keep it continuous for a minute, 30 seconds break, three times. Get ready, on guard. Three, two, one, go. And stop, okay? So it's in break. Okay, get ready. On guard. Three. Two, one. And stop. <clears throat> okay, get ready. On guard, three, two, one.
and stop. Good. Have a breather. Grab a drink. Technique two, groundwork, choking with the forearm. So, the attacker, they're in the guard, they're close in, forearm is across my throat here, okay? So, okay, that's what we need to do. So, over here, the attacker is in my guard. Forearm is across my throat here. Okay, uh, before I'm going to say they're using their, 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 uh, their, their left forearm. Okay, so this is my right hand here. And they come up. I'm going to strike across. So I'm going to bring my body here like this and strike across on the back of his elbow. All right, and pull in behind his head. So I'm now pinning his, his arms going this way. His head's there, and I'm pinning it in and holding, okay? Second thing I do, remember the attacker is between my legs here. I'm going to wrap my legs around and tuck my toes up underneath his ankles, and then shift my legs out like this, okay? This will have the effect of flattening him out, okay? His body will go flat, his knees and legs will extend, okay? And then bring his leg back to the outside, okay, when I'm still here. I do my bridge motion here, boom. Okay, and now I end up, I'm now in the mount, okay? I'm here, I'm gonna keep my weight on that top arm and strike in, okay? So we're here. Four arms down across my throat here. I'm striking the back of the elbow, simultaneously bringing the other hand behind the head. If I want to I strike down as well, okay? With the, with the forearm and the back of the head to stun him. Bang there, pull in tight. Okay. Hook the legs underneath, straighten them out. Okay. Foot back to the outside, bridge over the tops, kick that hand and shoulder pin, bang, and then strike. Okay, so one more time. Okay, so do this with me. So we're lying down, attacker is. Um, uh, in, in between my legs here, okay? They're leaning forwards, okay? We're gonna say this time they're gonna use their right uh, forearm to choke me, okay? So I'm here. I'm gonna bring up my left arm, strike across, pushing the arm in, across my throat so it's not choking me anymore, strike to the back of the head, boom, pull in. Bring the legs around, hook underneath the ankles, straighten the leg out. Okay, that's number two. Bring the foot back, bring your uh, right foot back to the outside and bridge over the top. Here, now I'm in the, in the mount. Pin that arm and strike. Okay. Okay, so with me. Attack to the guard. Leaning down with the right forearm. And one, bang, pull in. Two, hook underneath, straighten out. Foot back to the outside. Three, bridge, over, and strike. Boom, okay? Strike, strike, and then, you know, get out of the, um, the mount position as you normally would do. All right, so one more time. Attacker, here. Pinning over my top. Right forearm on my throat. So, with me. One. Pull it in. Legs on the outside, hook in, straighten the legs, okay? 
Right foot back to the outside, bridge, over, in the mountain position, strike, strike, strike. Okay, boom, and get up in whichever way you want. Now, that's the first, uh, first possible defence. The second one uh, involves more motion with the leg. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. Okay, he's uh, here on top of me. Okay, he's in, 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 my, uh, in my guard here. Do the first bit. Bang, a strike. I pull him in. Okay. Second part, exactly the same. Tuck in, boom, here. Now, for whatever reason, I can't do the bridge. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my toes underneath his leg. Okay. And I'm going to lift his leg and push it this way. That will have the effect of taking his body that way because his legs are very heavy. Okay. So we're in this position. The, uh, the um, uh, forearms cross the throat. Okay. So we go here. One. Boom. Here. Hook the toes. Number two. Back to the outside. This time, tuck the toe underneath the thigh. Lift and roll with the leg. That takes you over. You're up in the mount and then you strike. Boom. And then you're up as normal. All right? So, with me, you're gonna do this. Back in this position. Attack is in the guard. Okay, forearm across the throat. One, here. Okay, two, lock toes in. Straighten the legs out. Three, left to the outside, underneath with the toes. Lift and roll, over. Up, strike, 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 strike. Pin the elbows, on the side, up. And we exit. Okay? One more time. Tucker in the guard, forearm across the throat. One, here. Two, tuck in, straighten the legs out. Three, leg to the outside, tuck the toes under. Lift and roll and over. Strike, 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 strike. Here, round, up and exit. Okay? So, uh, two defences with the uh, forearm across the throat. Very, very similar for the most part, just the last bit slightly different. Okay? It's really, really important on this one that you str really strike the elbow across. Strike the back of the head and tuck in nice and tight. All right. Uh, once that head is there, you've got the body pinned, and then you can do what you want to do with the legs. But it's really, really important to get that first bit uh, nice and strong. All right. Um, remember, the attacker is um, in your guard, so between your legs, and you need to wrap over their ankles and straighten your legs. Don't worry too much if you can't quite. Get the toes underneath. If you think about it, when, you're, when the attacker is uh, in your uh, thighs here, here, so they're in this position here, even if I didn't uh, tuck my toes under, I just did this, okay, I would be pushing their knees backwards. So it's not just the fact that I'm pulling the toes out like that. I am, but I'm, part of the exercise here, as I'm doing this, I'm kind of bring my knees together and bring my, uh, my thighs closer to their thighs. So as I push out like this, I'm, I'm also pushing the inside of my thighs against their knees and pushing them back to, to, to help with that. All right? All right, so forearm, back of the head strike, tuck in, toes under, extend, and then either the mount or the toes underneath and flip the leg across. Okay, nice and easy, nice and slow. Work through each of the positions, make sure you go all the way to the end and over the top and striking uh, and get to the end. All right, off you go.
and stop there. Okay, active content, shadow boxing. So, uh, second time we're doing the exercise, we're thinking about the qualities. The qualities here are about being relaxed and showing the different things that you can do. When you get in your position here, I want you to try thinking about finger taps, palm strikes, hammer fists, foot punch, uppercuts. Okay? Think about the various kicks you can do. You know, you've got your knee strikes, front kicks, out of roundhouse, side kick, hook kick, okay? All of those things, crescent kicks, you've got low punches, right? There's a lot of things that you can do. So I really want you to think about just doing something different each time. Being nice and smooth and nice and relaxed, but you know, there's, uh, there's consistent power there. So you're here, one, two, three, four, okay? And then you're gonna move to a different uh, direction. Each time, doesn't matter which direction you move into. But think about the qualities, you know? As you're here, well, and you're moving around, make sure you move with your guard, okay? Think about here, you can do a pop kick, okay? Uh, there's an option here, you turn, and now it's a skipping kick. As, you fight, as the kicks come back, you're already moving forwards to do the strikes. Okay? So variation is the absolute key and the quality that we're looking for here. So each time you do your groups with three or four strikes, change direction, doesn't have to always be in the same direction. Go back and maybe you can do a complete 180. Keep your guard high, but maximize, maximize the use of, of your available strikes from all your pop kicks, skipping kicks, low punches, hooks, upper cups, elbow strikes, knee strikes, all of those things, okay? Get ready, on guard. Three, two, one, go! And stop, okay? 30 seconds break. Okay, get ready. On guard. Three. Two, one. And stop. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, you ready? On guard, three, two, one, go. And stop. Good. Have a breather. Grab a drink. Self-defense scenario. Uh, stab to the uh, face or part of the, uh, the chest, come to the outside. So, the attack is this. So somebody's here, bang, and stabbing in. So stabbing to, to this area here. Now, uh, as I've said before, it's all about time. Okay. In this situation, if I don't see it early enough, or they don't come from far enough away, that I, that I don't have the option to turn and kick and, and, and do what we previously practiced. This is a case of, you know, I turn and I see it and it, it's coming from this position. So, what I'm going to do is this, here. There, drive forwards, strike, okay. Striking, striking, striking. Grab the knife, switch kick, and release, all right. So, the first part here, very important to understand. This is not a parry defense. I'm driving forwards here with my, with my forearm, my little finger, and my elbow. If you do it from the side, I'm there. Okay? I'm leaning my body forwards, my little finger facing forward, my elbow is on the center line of my body here. So this is the center part of my body. I'm here, oh, there. Okay? As the knife is coming towards me, I'm going to be outside of the wrist. So I'm here, bang, okay? I'm going to the outside of the wrist. Now as that strike comes forward, the, the, the knife is gonna be deflected as it's sliding over here, there. And then as I fall forwards, I'm stepping and striking, okay? As I do so, I'm grabbing that wrist and jamming it with my forearm against their body, okay? So I'm here. Then I'm gonna step and strike, step and strike, all right? Then, Grab hold of the, uh, the hand with the knife, switch kick, kick to the groin. Here I can drive up into the up into the armpit, pull down and release the knife. Okay? So in this position here. Well, first position is here. One, driving forwards. Knife gets deflected, step and strike. Grab and hold, driving with the forearm into the body. Step and strike, step and strike, okay? Notice I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm here, I've come forward, driving, boom, I'm in this position here. Notice I've still got my head above my shoulders, above my hips, here. I'm not leaning here, like this, okay? I'm there, I'm strong, okay? 
Okay, I'm driving off with my rear leg as I strike. Bang, bang, all right? This is to keep the person moving backwards, keep the, uh, the, the knife pinned to the body, or the knife arm pinned to the body as I'm doing it, all right? But then focusing on driving forwards with an effective and hard piston punch as I do it. Once I consider that they're uh, more relaxed, I suppose, I'm then gonna grab that hand, switch kick to the side, kick to the groin, okay? Then now I can drive up and strip the knife, all right? So, let's do that again. So with me, this is what we're gonna do. When I say one, I'm gonna lean forward to this position. Notice what I'm doing here with my right hand, okay? I'm covering my heart. Here, but if I'm, if I'm a little bit late before the deflection, this hand is quite quickly coming up to this position. If I'm a bit late making the deflection, then it provides me with some uh, extra defense. So I'm here, one. Okay. Elbow forward on the center line, little finger facing forward, sliding over the top of the arm, deflecting and striking. Then we're going to go step forward and strike again and again. Hand down, grab hold of the, the, the fist with the knife in, grab hold of the wrist with the left hand. Switch kick, kick to the groin. There. Here and now we can drive up into the armpit and strip the knife out of the hand. Okay, so with me, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go like this, it's going to be one, okay, it's here. Two, bang, three, bang, four, bang. Then I say grab, switch kick, there, disarm, and off we go, all right? So, with me, one, two, three, Four, grab, switch kick, and disarm. And again. One, two, three, four, grab, switch kick, disarm. One more time. One, two, three, four, grab, switch kick, disarm, and move back home, all right? So, when you're doing this, particularly with the, with the first element, with one, I really want you to think about staying square. If I do this, okay, it, this, like that, does not give me an effective defense against the knife coming towards me, okay? It does seem counterproductive to keep your shoulders square and drive in like this. But if you do this, you're creating a much stronger uh, bridge against the, uh, against the uh, arm coming in, and it will deflect it to the outside here, okay? If I do this, okay, I'm actually not providing that strong bridge. And so actually what's happening is the knife will come directly here because I'm not creating that, um, the, the point of contact which needs to deflect it. So I keep my shoulders square here. Oh, there, forwards with the arm. So here, forwards with the arm, okay? As I start to fall forward, and I'm striking, two, three, four, okay? Grab, switch kick, up and disarm, okay? So the first technique in crab is always the most important. So we're here and it's there, boom, okay? Protect your heart, keep your shoulders square, arm hard out in front of you, it has to be strong, it can't be wibbly wobbly, it has to be strong to deflect, okay? So you're locking your arm into that position, here, boom. You make the deflection, bang, and then you carry on and finish. There is another option, if you have a little bit more time, you can go here, okay? The less time you have, boom, that's the only option you have. If you have lots and lots of time, then that will probably be your preferred option to keep them at a, long, at a longer distance. But somewhere in the middle, there's also this, there, okay? So I'm taking my body slightly to the side here, 
for driving the forearm in. Now, if you remember right back uh, when we did the fundamentals, when we did a 360, we had the option of doing a 360 like this, or a slight step to the side, if you had a little bit more time. It would just give you as a little bit better protection. As in this case, it's exactly the same. So we're here. If I have just enough time, I'm going to come slightly to the side here. Okay, I'm still driving in. Okay, and you're still driving into the outside of the forearm and stopping here. Boom, I'm blocking it and then stepping in. But it's just that slight step there. You're still being square with my shoulders. Notice as I'm here, my shoulders are still square. But it just takes me out of the line just a little bit and makes that defense more effective. However, first thing to practice is this one. There. And then step and strike. Okay. So you're sliding here at the arm, bam, it stops here, and then you move in. Then you can practice once you've done that and you're comfortable with that. Then you can practice coming to the side and then striking. Coming to the side, coming in and striking. Coming to the side, sliding in and striking. Everything else is exactly the same. It's just that first bit here, oh, it's a slight step to the side as you do it. Okay? So, what I want you to practice is going to be five times here. One, two, three, four, disarm. One, two, three, four, disarm. We'll do that five times. Then we're going to go slightly to the side. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, disarm. One, two, three, four, disarm. Okay, so five of each. But being really, really clear that in both situations, you're driving your body forwards. Okay, so we're here, on, strong, forearm. Okay, here, on, strong, forearm. Or we're here. Okay, but in each case, the, the arm is locked and it's strong because the stabbing hand that's coming through needs to be deflected, so it must be uh, with regular tension on it. All right, so have a practice.
and stop there. Find yourself a space, turn to press ups. Okay, we've done that, on your back, 100 punches. Okay, when you finish that, put your press ups. Okay, <clears throat> your left hand side, 50 side crunches. And put the press ups. <clears throat> and the other side, fifty side crunches. <clears throat> you finish that. Left leg at the front, right leg tucked in. Try and get your uh, stomach down towards your thigh. Other side. Okay, <clears throat> leg tucked behind. Side, right leg forward, left leg tucked in. Okay, both legs forward, easy open your elbows, back straight, take a deep breath in and push the heels forwards. Keep your back straight, as far as you can, keeping your back straight. 
Play a deep breath in and push a bit further. Deep breath in and push a bit further. Deep breath in and push. Okay, relax. Bring your heels in, as far as you can, back straight, bring your knees down towards the floor. And relax. Okay, shake your legs out, roll them a little bit. Okay, feet nice and wide. Get it, fold over your right leg. Again, try to get your stomach down towards your thigh, run your hands necessarily towards the feet. Other side. And relax. One hand behind, push forward. Okay, right hand underneath, right ankle, elbow down, arm over the top. Now, other side. Okay, and relax. One hand behind, we floor it a little bit wider with the legs. Okay, hands out the front. Okay, deep breath in and fold forwards. Try and get your stomach towards the place in the front. Deep breath in and push. Breath in and push. One more time, deep breath in and push. And relax. Okay, brings your legs to centre. Just uh, we can lift a little bit. Go up onto your knees. Stretch your arms forwards. As far as you can. Go to the right. And over to the left. And stretch forwards again. Push your bum back. Stretch your fingers forwards as far as you can. Okay, come up. Separate your feet. Point your toes to the outside. Okay, separate your knees as far as you can. Okay, and sit back as far as is comfortable. 
So stretching your hips a little bit. Okay. Turn around. Make sure you've got a space behind you. Backwards roll and up on your feet. Okay. Hands on your hips, big rotations, clockwise, anti clockwise. Feet together on your knees, forwards and backwards, rotating clockwise and anti clockwise. Right toes up the floor and left. 